began uh, teaching medical students and healthcare professionals how to cook, but also how to change the dialogue that they have with their patients about food. So by learning to cook and learning those skills and learning about what really great food is, they can have a better conversation with helping their patients eat healthier. Uh, we've been teaching medical students, healthcare professionals in the community in the United States and all across the United States. About 35 medical schools now use the programming that we developed in New Orleans. We have translated that programming here for the UK uh, and will launch here in February with the first four modules for practicing physicians. Um, I think that the slow changes that we need to make about having food be an integral part of medicine translate really well to the UK, to Italy, to Spain. Uh, we're speaking with folks in Egypt now. So this is really something that we need to make part of our toolbox in medicine. Chefs have to pass on to the next generation the importance of creating recipes that promote good health, diet and nutrition. People have to become more responsible for their own health, become less dependent on drugs, on pharmaceutical drugs, and more um, responsible for maintaining a good health diet through buying of good food, good nutritional cooking, to maintain this healthy balance. Whatever you eat, it can be good, it can be bad for you. And if you know that something is not good for you, just avoid it. Just read it, study, and make sure that you eat the right thing to live better and longer. 